All right, guys, welcome back. So in a recent video, I was talking about mastering for streaming services. And we were talking about RMS. We talked about Peak, True Peak, and of course, LUFS. Today, I want to talk about LUFS because I realized that I kept saying minus 4 dB when in fact I meant minus 14 dB. So let's go into it a little bit. Super quick one, guys. Just a quick update again. Winning with blends. Justin blends back again. Okay, so let's take a look. So looking at the analyzer tool, let's get to the analyzer tool so you can see what we're looking at when it comes to loudness levels so most streaming services like soundcloud spotify Tidal, youtube apple uh, youtube music and so on will look at minus 14 db lufs okay minus 14 lufs would be the range that they're looking for commercial television may go as low as 23 minus 23 or minus 24 db okay as you see this this mix i'm working on here this master is essentially roughly minus 14 lufs at its peak all right lufs is a standardized measurement of audio loudness it applies to music streaming cinema television radio and so forth so what we're looking at for LUFS, what it means is loudness units relative to full scale, in this case, full scale is zero, or for short, loudness units full scale, all right? It's important to remember not to let anything go minus to, to minus seven LUFS for too long. Otherwise, that's just probably too loud and your mix may end up just being super quiet and have to be turned down, okay? On the master fader, as you see over here, right here, um, Minus one to minus two dB headroom is typically good. I would say from my experience, minus 1.5 dB typically allows you to kind of get away with not getting too compressed or too crunchy with the audio when they encode it for, for streaming services, okay? Uh, so essentially the question may be what happens to sounds that are minus 14 and, and even louder than minus 14 LUFS. Well, or based on the certain platform's desires, maybe it's minus 12, maybe it's minus nine. Well, probably not, maybe, maybe more like minus 15, minus 16 nowadays, right? Louder audio will be brought down and processed down, okay? Which sometimes results in crunchy or compressed audio. I said this in the last video, which I've definitely pinned and I'll pin it right now if I haven't pinned it earlier. It's important to know that essentially it's better to be turned down, it's better to be turned up part of me than to be turned down by a streaming service okay so always export your your files in aiff or wave file to have the highest fidelity possible always references reference your mixes in mono and stereo for best results of course guys listen to your mix at super low levels because that is a way you can find true balance if it's too loud maybe it's too biased too heavy your ears get fatigued all of that good stuff right so use the right kind of audio compression um to retain good dynamic ranges for, for your max volume and your low volume you also have to ask yourself what is the quietest part of your mix and what is the loudest part of your mix all right so using the analyzer tool we can look at the lufs levels integrated levels over 0.4 seconds and over three seconds so you can get a, a better range of what is a better feel for what it sounds like in a broad sense over three seconds as well as short uh, bursts of, of time over 0.4 seconds. So as you see, I've got my average is roughly in the loudest peaks, maybe minus 13.3 LUFS, and a lot of the track is minus 14 LUFS. So we're in a pretty good range, guys. So I really do hope that helped a lot. I know I already released this video, but I did want to touch up, touch back with you guys, touch base to make sure that you understood minus 14 LUFS is the number. I said minus four many times. I meant to say minus 14. That's about it, guys. Thanks for checking this one out again. Justin Blends, winning with blends. Check the description. I got some great tools there, some cool, uh, useful tools for people who want to just start getting into the stuff right now, or even those who want to take it to another level. All right, drop some comments. I always do leave feedback and it helps me understand what you guys like for the channel. All the best to you guys again. Until next time, take it easy.